guys. Um, so today I'm going to be filming the five product full face makeup challenge. And that's basically where you do a full face of makeup just using five products. And it's something that you would be comfortable walking out of the house with. So for the five products I picked the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation because it is a foundation but it also works it has a primer in it the coverage of a concealer so I can use it as a concealer I don't have to use a primer and I don't have to set it because it's shine free um, and then I picked this Revlon Quad because the colors are really neutral so I'm going to be using this for my eyeshadow and also for um, the darker brown right there. I'm going to be using it to fill in my eyebrows. Then I picked the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Diva. I love this color because I can, I'm can. i going to use it as a blush and I'm also going to be using this as my lip color. And then I have obviously the Their Real Mascara. Not obviously but I need a mascara so I have that one and also in our contouring bronzer okay so I think that's it and this can also be used as an eyeliner I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that but we'll see all right so we're just gonna get started shake 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 your booty pump that right there I need my mirror yo okay. so I'm just gonna dot it all over my face <laughs> another pump for my under eye area right and more on my nose because I have a discolored nose okay there it is <laughs> applying my concealer from now on with a foundation brush and then also over my eyes because it's gonna work as an eyelid primer for when I put on my foundation so they don't I mean for when I put on my eyeshadow so they don't creep alrighty now alrighty alright 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 the next thing I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows so I'm gonna take my quad and an angled brush Hopefully this color works because I've never used an eyeshadow to do my eyebrows. You can, I mean I know some people do, but I've never done that. Because when you're doing your eyebrows, um, especially if you're using like a brown, you want to make sure it's a cool tone brown, not a warm tone brown. Like this one is a warm tone, but just cool tone always just looks more natural. I'm gonna feather this baby out. I'm not sure who came up with this tag because I know, um, what's her name? Oh, what will Lizzie do? She, her and her friend just did one, but I've seen videos from before that is about the same thing, so I don't think they created it. Um, maybe they just brought it back to life. But I can't even credit anybody because I don't know who came up with it. So now we're going to go back to my face. I'm going to contour. And Being a woman is hard though. It is. So the next thing I'm going to be doing my blush and I'm going to be using, I think I'm going to be using my fingers to do this because a stippling brush will put on too much product and this is already a very colorful blush. So I think I'm going to be using my two fingers over here. Smile. Uh, yeah. The 
This is the first time I'm trying this blush. Can you tell? And then, of course, I'm going to be using that for the lips as well. Just tap it. Can I pay attention? <laughs> come on, come on. I look like I got punched in the face. Now for the eyes, this is easy peasy. I am just going to. I'm gonna apply the lighter shade right there. Not the lighter, the second lightest shade all over my lid. Maybe I can go to work like this today. Oops, wrong color. What do you think? What do you think? I think I can go to work like this. Okay, so next I'm going to take a fluffy brush and go with the second to the darkest shade right there and that's going to be my crease color okay when do you guys put on your crease color do you do it before you do anything else or do you do it after you put on your lid color because sometimes i do it before you know to work as like a guide and sometimes i do it after it really depends on the color that I'm using, honestly, because this is kind of like a dark color. If I'm using like a, a brown that's like a little bit lighter than that, I probably would do that first. Okay. And then I'm going to take that dark brown and that's going to go on the outer corner. And it's also going to work as my liner. So there you go. This thing has three purposes. Then I'm going to take my fluffy brush over here and I'm going to go with the lightest color and use that as my brown bone, brow bone color. Ooh, I really like that blush as my lips. Yo. It looks like a matte lipstick and I don't really like that color for my brow bone because it always looks chalky to me. I didn't leave that much space to put that color though, did I? Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm obviously not going to set my eyebrows but never had a problem with that before. Next is, what did I say? My liner. <laughs> Final product, like I said, I'm going to be using a mascara. That is it for my five product full face makeup challenge. I think I did pretty well. I mean, I got the eyes in, I got the eyebrows filled, I got my foundation, my concealer, my blush, contour, and my lips are all done with five products. Yeah, I think it's definitely achievable. It's just one of those things that you have to find products that can be used for different things. That can be used for like two, two to three different things. Like, this over here serves two purposes. This right here, three. So yeah, two. And the rest of them just did one, but like I said, it can be done. I can walk out of the house right now, and I think I'd be fine. My eyes are looking a little cray cray, but that's okay. I want to tag everybody to do this, okay? If you were subscribed to me, you need to do this. Like, yeah, do this. If you're subscribed to me or if we are friends on YouTube I tag you so I think it's fun you know who I'm gonna tag to do this 
Girl Friday XO. I tag you to do this five product full face challenge. Yeah. Alright, so that's it for this video and I think that's all I have to talk about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.